Hey guys, it's Snailbiter, and I've got some more close quarters gameplay here for you guys. This is a, another round of Conquest Domination that I recorded on Zeba Tower. And I thought I'd do something similar for Zeba Tower that I did in the, in the last video that I posted for Danya Fortress. I wanted to talk a little bit about how I've been playing this map and some of my suggestions for strategies to use. And I, I will say that I think Zeba Tower, I, I talked in the last video about how there were three specific areas on Danya Fortress for the most part where, where you would spawn if you clicked random spawn. And as far as I've been able to tell on Zeba Tower, there really isn't any or there aren't any three specific areas where you do spawn. It, it seems pretty random for the most part, at least there's, or at least I haven't really been able to figure anything out that any, any sort of pattern. So uh, this map I think is quite, or that, I think that's probably one of the reasons why this map can be very insane and frantic and it can seem like there's always an enemy coming behind you. But anyway, I am using the Spaz 12. I'll just go over my kit setup quickly. I'm I am using the Spaz 12, which as I talked about in one of the first video close quarters videos I did, I think using a shotgun on these maps is probably one of the best ways you can go. My my three favorite class setups I think are to use on these close quarters maps are probably the the Spaz 12 setup that I'm using right now, which I'll go into a little more detail about in a second, and then the AEK with you know one of the two setups that I talked about in the or the one of the two setups that I was using in the last couple of videos that I posted, or you could also use the MP7. I think the MP7 is a really good weapon to use on on these maps because it has such great hip fire if you equip it with the laser sight, and especially with extended mags, you have a lot of bullets to use, so it's very good for dealing with you know multiple groups of enemies, and you know, you run into groups of enemies quite often, so having that extra ammo in a clip is really helpful. So those are probably the, my three recommended setups to use. But back to the setup I'm using in this video. Uh, I'm using the Spaz 12, as, as I said, and I've got extended mags equipped. And I'm also using flechette rounds. I, I haven't actually tried buckshot on these maps. I think I might have used slugs once, but what I've found is that, you know, most of the encounters you get into aren't really long range enough for you to need slugs. But at the same time, it is I think it is helpful to have flechette instead of buckshot because, you know, there's it's really, I don't know, I think flechette is like that sort of middle ground, and I find that shotguns in general are more effective with flechette rounds than buckshot, so if I'm not using slugs, flechette is probably what I'll use. But that being said, I think you could definitely still have success if you use buckshot on a shotgun uh, for these maps, and especially on Zeba Tower, I think buckshot would work perfectly fine. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about in this video was a little bit about the way I've been playing this map because, as I talked about earlier, I think Zebra Tower, and I, I think I mentioned this before, but I think Zebra Tower is probably my least favorite map out of the four new maps. It's either this one or Operation 925, but I actually I dislike them for different reasons. I think the, the problem I have with Zebra Tower is that everything feels very crazy. There, there, there seems to be very little way to play this map with strategy, unlike, I think, Danya Fortress and Scrap Metal. And part of that is, as I talked about earlier, the spawn system seems to be completely random on this map, and there really isn't any any pattern that I can, can tell uh, for the way the spawns work. It just seems like, you know, anyone can spawn anywhere on this map for the most part. And another reason I, th I think this map is a little weird is that it's there are no choke choke points on this map and obviously you don't want to have a map where every th you know the, the entire round is just a stalemate and I've talked about this before where I think it's good to have flank routes but on this map there are just so many rooms and you know stairwells that you can run in and out of and just weave through the, the and there are so many flanking routes that you know anyone can get behind you at any time there's there's really very little downtime on this map and it just feels like I'm constantly running from place to place and as soon as I kill somebody I have to get out of the area because I know somebody could be on top of me in a second and I mean that happens to a certain extent on the other maps but you know on the, at least on the other maps you have a bit of a sense of where to expect the enemy to be coming from whereas here it just I mean what was that guy? that guy probably just spawned there I have, I have no idea how he got there maybe he was shooting I, I don't know but it just it's, it seems so random at times on this map that it, it can be very frustrating to play. So that's kind of why you saw at the beginning of the round I I played a little more cautiously. I was trying to or I was focusing on more staying alive than 
really going after enemies and going after flags. And uh, you'll see towards the end of the round, I start to I start to play a little more freely, I guess, and uh, I, I do get on some nice streaks. But I, I think that can be a little frustrating with this map, and that's why I'm using a shotgun on this map. I think shotguns are probably the best weapon to use on this map because of the fact that <laughs> you really you can't afford to be reloading e after every kill with uh, with an assault rifle and uh, not only that but assault rifles uh, just the majority of the encounters that you get into on this map are going to be close range and assault rifles while I mean while the AEK works really well at close range it's still more of a long range weapon and so and as I as I mentioned before, if you have to reload, you know, for a good second or two after every kill, it's just going to be very difficult to stay alive and to constantly be defending yourself. So, I if you do want to use a, an assault rifle on this map, I'd say uh, what I like to do, and I've tried that, is to kind of patrol this third level area that I uh, just ran up right now. And I mean, you can generally pick guys off that are trying to cross between A and B. But I, I still think that assault rifles just don't work too well on this map and that a shotgun's probably the best way to go. Now as I said earlier it's tough to really employ any specific strategy I think on this map just because it is a very hectic map I think but one thing that I like to do especially when I'm using a shotgun on this map is I, I really like to just sort of weave in and out of rooms and never really stay in one place for, for a very long time. I'll maybe get a kill uh, somewhere and then I'll, I'll pretty much just run off and, and try to try to reload as I'm running off because that's the nice thing with shotguns you can reload but you can still be ready to uh, to engage an enemy almost immediately it's not like it takes you out of the the fight for a, a few seconds another thing that I recommend doing is sticking to the outskirts of the map or at the very least trying to limit the possible lines of sight that the enemy might have on you just so you have less to worry about uh, because it's you know there are, there are lots of areas on this map where they're you're, you know they're in the middle of a hallway and the enemy has two or at least like three or four potential w lines of sight to to see you so to the extent that you can limit that and uh, make it so you don't have to worry as much about your back because you know teammates are <laughs> as much as uh, I would like to think otherwise teammates can be quite unreliable so uh, to the extent that you can kind of let the the way the map is constructed defend you for yourself I think that'll help out as well so uh, this is a map where I like to constantly be on the move and uh, you know I guess you could maybe patrol an area by one of the flags but the problem I have is that a l each of these flags I think is kind of difficult to take there they all have multiple uh, lines of sight and angles onto them so it can be very uh, very difficult to sort of stay in one place for for too long so what I like to do is uh, use a shotgun on this map and kind of run around all over the place and try to try to stick to the outsides of the map and at the very least just kind of running f from room to room and not like running straight down with one hallway but you know I'll, even if the enemy sees me I just uh, I try to weave my way in and out of the the different rooms and stairwells and or stairways and I, I find that that works decently so there's the end of the round I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and uh, that's just what I've been doing to try to have success on this map. There's, you can see final scores 36 and 10, which isn't amazing, but it was decent. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.